Hey everybody, I'm Amanda Rueda. I am a senior product manager at GitLab in the plan stage, and I want to walk you through how I, as a product manager, use GitLab for my planning process. In this video, I'm going to walk through um, kind of higher level, how do I find the work that I want to plan for this milestone, maybe one or two milestones out. Um, and I want to walk you through that process. Where do I find it? How do I find it? Using GitLab. So I'm going to share my screen here. And in a some other videos, I showed you how I break down work and um, some other tools that I use in my process. But here I'm going to specifically target in on how do I find the work that I want to plan for the next milestone, maybe the next two or three milestones. So I have a few different um, kind of methods. When I'm working on a big project, I like to create a single epic that groups everything related to that project. Um, so in this case, we are working on an initiative called Work Items. And once it ships, I am going to be migrating the current epic experience to the work item experience. Um, in order to do that, I want to keep track of all the moving parts because there's a lot that goes with that actual migration. So I've created a table for myself in this epic. It's not something you have to do, um, especially because it's a markdown table and not everybody loves markdown, but I personally love tables. Um, and especially because the tasks or the kind of subset features that I need um, to get scheduled for migration is actually going to be done across several groups here at GitLab. And so this gives me a quick view of who's owning what, and if there's something that anybody can own, we can easily update that and we can see a quick status. There is overhead of creating a static table like this. So you might want to instead just focus your, your views in the child and related um, epics. So here we can see Things that are directly related to the migration are children of this epic and things that are laterally related because they might have a different direct parent, but block this initiative are all listed here. Um, so every milestone before the milestone starts, I'm looking for, okay, well, what's in the backlog? Does it make sense to start bringing one of these things in? Because this is an, an initiative that's very important to me this quarter. Um, so this is kind of a one-off when you know you're working on a huge initiative. When you have features that are kind of more than one specific thing, I like to use roadmaps. Um, so you can come into your roadmap by going to epics and roadmap, and you can then filter the roadmaps because everything's going to load by specific um, filters. And in my case, I'm going to use labels. And I'm going to use our... Um, stage label, which is plan. And this is going to show me everything. I'm specifically looking across plan, not just my group, because there are things that the other teams are working on that we might want to contribute to. But this is still a little bit too much for me. I want to narrow this down a little bit more. And I know that as I am reviewing work, um, anything that's important to me for um, this fiscal year, I am marking with this label FY24. And so now I can get just those that I've already triaged and earmarked for this year. Um, and I can look to see what I need to burn down. So from here, I can go ahead and open up to find eligible. Um, I can open up the Epic to find eligible work that I could start to, to schedule. Um, for example, if ordering issues and issue boards um, is not blocked by anything, I can start scheduling these issues. So this is another way that I can find um, things that I want to schedule in upcoming um, milestones. Now, I'll just mention that we have some new functionality here that's being displayed with colors. You may want to organize yourself um, using Epic colors, maybe do it by time, like um, order of not time, but priority. So, you know, reds are the first thing you're going to um, are going to schedule. Yellows are the next and so forth. And to change the colors, um, currently, you would do that in the Epic itself. So you would come here within the Epic and change the color accordingly. We will be adding features so that you can change it right from this view in the future. Okay, and another place I like to find things um, when I'm looking for issues 
or work to prioritize is in the board. Um, when I'm looking at the board, I have several views. This is just one of them. So this is an epic board, which I've scoped to that label of FY24, which means are things that I've already earmarked that are important to me. And I've scoped it down to just my group. And I've listed, um, I've created lists in this board by category maturities. Um, so viable, complete, and lovable. And as features come up, I am deciding, well, that gets us closer to viable, that gets us closer to complete and so forth, which is um, GitLab nomenclature for just the maturity of features. And so I'm always looking at this list to see, okay, well, we're getting close. I have 81% left on this filtering and sorting. So I may open up this epic and see what eligible work I have that I can schedule here. Um, so this is another way that I can look at um, kind of backlogs in a different view to see different information. So the viability in this case. The last thing I wanna show you when I'm looking for work is issue lists. Um, so I, I like to come to the issue list and sort it by my group um, and then sort it by feature, which we use a label for and then sort it where the author is not me because I know what I've created. And when I create an issue, I will typically add a milestone to it um, or earmark it accordingly. And then I will sort this result set by create date so that I'm seeing all the new, the latest stuff that's been created by other people. I'm typically watching this as they get created, but you never know, something might sneak by me. And so if I find something that's interesting um, that I didn't realize was an opportunity for us, I might open that up and um, and break that down into, um, or create an epic for it and then break it down into smaller parts and get it scheduled. So th these were just a couple of tips of how I find work when I am scheduling um, work for my next one to three milestones. Hope this is helpful for you and thanks so much for your time.